61A, lecture number 10, announcements. Midterm 1 regrade requests are due Monday. Please make sure that the links to your Midterm 1 recordings continue to work through Monday. You will be contacted if you need to keep them even longer, but if you don't hear from us, you can just remove them, or not, it's really up to you, but if you want to free up some space on your Google Drive or whatever, uh, you could remove them uh, on Tuesday. Homework 2 is due Thursday. The completely optional hog strategy contest will end on Monday. And let's see how many people have submitted so far. A lot! We have 112 submissions. Stanford's still there at the bottom. We have a four-way tie for first place. That hasn't happened in many, many years. But just because you're winning now doesn't mean you'll win the whole contest. It's not unusual that somebody will save their very best entry until the last minute. So we'll see what happens this year. I'm delighted to see so many people participating. We will have a lab this week. Lab is due on Tuesday. Come to orientations on Monday. And just finish the lab on Monday. It's really only due on Tuesday in case for some reason you can't finish it on Monday. We'll have discussion and tutorials on Wednesday an exam prep section on Friday, and lecture Q&A with the instructors Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays in the morning. Today's lecture is not all about recursion, but there are some recursion examples sprinkled in. Instead, today we talk about how to give names to multiple values bundled together using a container. And we'll also talk a little bit about strings because those are related. They're kind of like containers full of letters. Okay, here we go.